Welcome back to the second to last part before the end of fall, and our second conquest into the hearts of the townsfolk. Yeah, the game is cluing you into something that we've taken care of, but you really need to take care of before winter comes. Get at least one silo ready, because grass will not grow during the winter. I don't know, it's supposed to be 70 here tomorrow, the grass might start growing anyway. There should not be a time of year when both the snowblower and the lawnmower need to be ready to go. <laughs> and yet here we are. Congratulations, you've constructed a bent paper clip. Hi, it's Clippy. It looks like you're trying to make a wood sculpture. It looks like you're trying to win the heart of a character you're not going to marry. All shall love me, but I will only choose one. I mean, you can you can kind of choose them all. Well, serially. Yes. Not in parallel. I mean, you can have all of them be, I think, boyfriend or girlfriend at the same time. Yeah, but you can only officially marry one. Yeah. And if you are already engaged, no one else will accept your proposal, even if you are at enough of a heart rating with them. I forgot, can you get divorced in this? Yep. Thought so. You can do more than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the content updates. Oh dear. That sounds... ominous. We'll touch on it with the latter end of the LP. Because the thing that involves it doesn't turn up until the community center is done. Man, I timed that just right. So the ratio of redheads to non-redheads in Pelican Town is disturbingly high. Uh. Wait, why is she back in her house again? Well, I'm friends with her. I can enter the house whenever I want. But she was outside. The game doesn't care, and I appreciate it. Wizard. So Leia has an ex named Kel. Kel's gender is actually the same as your character's gender. Schrodinger's gender, basically. Gender fluid or lazy, you decide. It's lazy. The developer's lazy. You could be me, gender fluid and lazy. What's wrong with the house in the suburbs? But do you also have kids in PTA meetings? Oh, god no. <laughs> exactly. We have cats and we sleep in till 10 on the weekends. Best does not tolerate this cow. Best is a dreamer. Follow your dreams. Best followed hers, and now she's rich. Getting all that eggplant money. That sounds like that should be suggestive. Oh, hi. Oh, God. What were you doing in there? <laughs> Because if I was a wood sculptor, what I would do is leave a fire in my fireplace unattended when I left the house. With more wood right next to it. Right on top of the wood floor with absolutely no hearth. 
And a nice flammable carpet. That carpet looks like hay. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like his reaction is just, oh dear. I'd probably name him and take him home. Yeah. I kind of want a pet crab. So there's actually two characters who one of their heart events is just you walking in on them and they drop something. And now you need to decide, should we tell the truth to the other person or not? Well, first you need to call the biohazard team, because who knows what was in that beaker. She said it was just a sample. So, you know, you could still be right. Of plutonium... NP. The kid had an interesting breakfast. What happened? I heard something break. Something broke. The end. <laughs> oh. Thank you for telling the truth. Now, you're fired. That 25 cents is coming out of your pay, cat face. Alright, grab another needle and I'll go call Vincent again. I mean, I guess Harvey can't really afford to fire someone for such a simple mistake. What's he gonna do? Hire Alex? I think hiring Alex's football might go better. Oh, and it's time for Marnie's appointment. Yeah. Does that mean it's Marnie's birthday? I can't remember. Oh my god, this is incredibly wrong. Completely confidential. Yep. Then she turns to look at you. Oh my god, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing healthier. <laughs> it would have been funnier if you swapped those around. <laughs> Blood pressure is 180 over <laughs> kittens. 180 over the hill. I paid too much money, damn it! Take it from me! And you need to take this. The fertilizer will go bad. Still not my favorite gift in the mail. <laughs> There we go. Making sure it's a crappy pumpkin. Yeah, you don't get anything extra for silver or gold stars. Nice getting that pickaxe up to gold before uh, winter. Yeah, you're going to be spending a lot of time in the mines. There's kind of not anything else to do in the winter. Nope. Just like every other Harvest Moon game. Oh, nice. Reminder, the screen that you're on does determine what sort of artifacts you'll find from those little worms. Sometimes some of the places, like the bus stop, the path behind your house, and the village will have sort of similar things. Like, I think the hand axe can turn up in town as well. Oh my... holy crap. You can't just trot that out in front of the kid. <laughs> hey Vincent, want to know how I envy you, a ten-year-old? <laughs> Here's my incredibly sad backstory. Anyway, how's farming? I'm making a lot of money and I'm living the dream. I haven't abandoned any kids, so go me. I'm having trouble deciding whether that's two cookies on that plate in the background or a video game controller painted orange. 
<laughs> On a plate. Why not both? Just an SNES controller she dropped in batter. Mandatory sewer level. Yep. Mandatory sewer character. Oh my god. Is, is this an Undertale? Not quite. That, hmm. I was going to say this is pre-Undertale, but I think they're around the same time, weren't they? No, this is a Void Spirit. Void Spirits are enemies in later levels of the mines, but this one is a friend. His name's Krobus. He's got his own little shop here. He sells Void and Solar Essences, a pretty expensive star drop, Iridium sprinklers if you need it, and one random item that sort of changes day to day. He also sells a scepter that teleports you immediately back to your farm, but it costs two million. That's a goal for the end of the LP. A pretty easy gift for him, if you stocked up on the wild horseradishes, he really loves those. What, what are you doing? There is also fish you can only catch in the sewer. For one, why is everything green and smoking? Because sewers, it's poop. It's poo gas. The forest field is poo gas. That is... Uh, what is happening in this town? Magic. Somebody post her elaborate fiction as to why the town sewers are, like, green and sludgy. And this is why I love the Traveling Merchant. Nice. Rabbit's Foot is a very rare drop from Rabbit's, which you can't get until you've leveled up the coop to level 3. It's kind of, I don't want to think about why a rabbit dropped its own foot and I just pick it up and sell it, but yeah, got that taken care of. I need that for the wizard's bundle. They're like lizards, right? You just cut their feet off and a new one grows back. And crabs. Shit, I gotta go. The police are here. <laughs> Well, like we've established, best is a diplomat. And also the only person who can take care of anything. I own your ass if you get my drift. Yes, she's thirsty. <laughs> You are literally bankrupting this establishment by yourself. Angry Pam gives the thing of nightmares. <laughs> Regular Pam's cold, dead, empty eyes are the thing of nightmares. I had the money this entire time. I just liked wringing you dry. And now everyone's here. No, no, no. Just bring your own beer into the bar. <laughs> Start drinking it. I probably bought it from them, like, yesterday. Ew. Where's your cork fear now, Gus? Gluck, gluck, gluck. I got you wine. Some assembly required. <laughs> no, it took them a minute. Now they're dancing. You just hand someone some grapes and a keg and say, eh, figure it out. <laughs> And I already gave him a bunch of soda already. Not like leaving my pants behind at your place. This is another cutscene where the correct option that I'm not given is I don't give a shit. Yeah, you guys do you. There's really nothing wrong with what's going on here. 
correct option is to use strength to move the truck so that you can get Mew. Saying that just upset them. I'm going to go tell everyone what two consenting adults are doing. It's literally the worst. Two consenting very adults. It's so scandalous. They're, you know, happy and all that. It's a cutscene. I spawn in hiding. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to hiding. You guys continue. <laughs> Did I not yeah. just tell you I was trying to move the truck? Hi, Clint. Hi, Clint. What, what is happening here? <laughs> um. I think my favorite thing about that cutscene is I have the glow ring on, so you could tell my character just went back to hiding. Early bundle! Ooh. Get some gold! So now I just need a duck feather, which is also a rare drop. Oh, and three apples. Ugh. Yeah. The apples is one case where, even though I have the fruit bat cave, the apples they give me may be of different star ratings, and I can't stack them. So I gotta do that one the hard way. Today's weather. Leaves. <laughs> Amaranth juice. That can't taste good. Eat some trash. There's some guy on a cliff up to the right, just with a leaf blower, just going to town. It's actually just Linus. He got bored. He's washing his clothes. Linus, I can imagine being secretly Thor or something. Well, yeah, I mean, sits on the ground all day. He found a breakdancing dude. <laughs> Smooth. Oops. Two cases where the game kind of glitched out. It's really funny when it does that. I give them the gift. I guess it double clicked or something. Because it went automatically to giving them the gift and saying I'd given them two gifts and I can't give them another. This probably was recorded back before I actually got a fixed mouse, so I don't know. But, uh, actually, Rodan, you said that happened to you too, didn't it? Yeah, it, on occasion. So the game's just weird. A dark planet of awesome size, lit by no sun. My home! Oh yeah, you can actually see a black circle. I kind of need to get close. Oh yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, that's the mothership. Ah, uh, maybe. So you're not writing your diary, you're giving your report back. Soon the invasion will begin, and we'll all be free. Beep boop. She can see a binary star system with a backyard telescope. Oh no, there's Best Planet. Because it also has a hat. Oh my. I browse. No, things don't really get wild until you get to like the 10 heart cutscenes. I like how that cactus looks really special, just with that <laughs> one little square of light. It is the holy cactus. I'm gonna say it's best religious idol. She worships the god of the cactuar. 
Okay, she hopes to take the Sacrament of the Thousand Needles. The Holy Prick. That's some good energy recovery. Yams. But I'm gonna sell it. Oh, yams. <laughs> I got a few beats. Probably not going to be able to take care of the thing that I want to do with them. Because I need, like, what, ten? Yeah, I think it's ten. Seed Maker always surprises me with how fast it is. It's just a giant blender. Pretty much. I mean, it's not really making seeds, it's just extracting them. Plants already did the hard work, the machine's just taking credit. Ah, nice. Yeah. The purple mushroom is the useful one. I was about to say that's not how mushrooms work, but I really don't know enough to say otherwise. I think if you have multiple mushroom trees on your farm and you get a purple mushroom from a tapper on one of them, if you have multiple tappers on them, they will all give you purple mushrooms in the same day. Hmm. Yay, achievement! It means I got a certain number of people up to at least five hearts. Oh, are you ready for drama? Oh no. Oh no, not this one. Well, this is when things go good. Even though the music sounds like things are getting serious. Christ, Marnie. No, actually I've been huffing ether. I've moved up to absinthe. I don't know where I am. Stabs Jazz. Oh no, he's gonna do it! Oh no. It's a scorpion! He's so cute! Oops. Step, step, step. Riley turned in all those bottles and cans and got my deposit back. I also bought a yacht. And another smaller yacht to put on that yacht. No, wait, sorry, I got a yurt. But I still got a smaller yacht to put on top of it. So that was Shane's six heart event. This is his eight heart event. It actually unlocks a new color of chicken. Some fancy ass tails. Well, yeah, that's where the tails go. I really wish they laid blue eggs, but they don't. Yeah. They're basically the same as white chickens when it comes to eggs. But they dyed their waddles purple and listened to death metal? <laughs> Judging by the chicken's face, I think it does. Shane, that's a lot to lay on a chicken. Nice hand drawing.
These are normal colored chickens from my home planet. How did you get them? Do I need to call the police? I assume it's just that bucket in the corner on the right is blue dye and it just stunks the chickens. And they drink the red water. But yeah, now I can buy blue chickens from Marnie. Wait, priorities. I don't know what that was, but it looked like raw chicken. It was sashimi. So, it was raw. Was it chicken sashimi? Nope, that's a white chicken. Nope. Okay, okay, I see where we're going here. Yay! One of each. Prayer teeth? Don't get that, but that's... Kojiro! Yami, do you remember what I named my blue chicken? No, and I'm gonna regret it, but... What'd you name your blue chicken? Blueby! Alright! <laughs> In honor of our fallen friend, Skippy Granola. I mean, he's fine, he got right back up. Man, talk about Netflix and no chill. <laughs> oh, little baby goat. Something is slightly disturbing to me about having both your cheese maker and your mayonnaise maker outside in the sun. Mmm, bacteria. They're actually just buckets. You just dump the milk and eggs in and it forms on its own. It's rather horrifying. Ah, damn it. Get back. Get behind the corner. It's only exactly five. No, whatever. Have a good birthday present. Maybe he's making that horrible cheese you can't get in America, because it's made with real maggots. Oh nice, I lucked out. That's what tends to happen to saws. If you say no, does the cutscene just end? <laughs> Probably. She just shows you an IKEA manual. The two most useless items in the game. And things that make a racket when you step on them. Hey, mining. Like note blocks. And cats. Can I finally get to level 100 before the day is over? I don't know, you're on one of these terrible floors and it's 11pm. Yes! Ooh. The bat saved me! Uh, the reward is... Hey, another star drop. More spider thoughts. Best dreamed of an army of spiders taking over the world for her. And keeping everything in place. And, oh, um... And a lava lake. Fishing! <laughs> so welcome to Best in the Fire Sea. None of this makes sense. Neither is how any of this is still in here. This is not how lava works. This is a lot of garbage. <laughs> yeah. I'm annoyed. I'm trying to catch the fish that's in there. There's a lava eel in there. Somehow it's not a legendary fish, but I still want it. Uh, I guess we know what Pelican Town does with all their garbage. Oh, man. Just made it. Just in time to pet the cat. Yay! Nice, but I've maxed out my farming. That gives me the option to grow crops faster, which... Nah. 
I want to go for money, so now all my artisan goods sell for more. Based on what I've seen, fermenting things is the money maker. Oh, yeah. And I am making the money. I think so far all of the professions you've selected are the same ones I chose, except I did not dream of spiders. I dreamt of chocolate. <laughs> that was a weird show. I dream of spiders. <laughs> it's not a dream. That's a nightmare. No, they're not real spiders. It's just the army of spider bots she's going to bring down to the planet. Still a nightmare. Oh, get it off me! Get it off me! <laughs> <laughs> and then they all blink at once. Oh, great, now that's going to be stuck in my head all night. And then their mandibles wiggle, and the audience laughs. Wait, that was bitwitched, wasn't it? Yep. End the video. Fuck it. <laughs>